Hello everyone and welcome back to XCOM 2. So I just did a little bit of playing around here with CT Sigma. I gave him the purple armor with Mace Windu's battalion. That looks, looks pretty swag here. I gave him all the different abilities that are related to the Blade Master traits. So he's going to be very, very good at melee attacking. But he also has this. Basically every time he shoots with this shotgun beam he, and gets a kill with it, he'll be able to get extra actions refunded. Which is pretty dope. So he'll be a very good... A, Basically, flanker uh, is what I have him set up for right now. So, let's go over to the breeding grounds real quick. Um, I want to pick up some extra armor if I can. Yeah, stasis suit. Uh, I don't think there's anything else crazy over here. Yeah, that's pretty much it here. These are just costing cores. We have three left. I mean, that's plenty of cores, right? So. The options here. Um, yeah, let's go for another war suit. I mean, they're very, very good with my grenaders. I feel like this war suit, but I may be able to play around with it with something else. Maybe like uh, I don't know when my ranger's getting it. That might be fun. Ah, oh, what the heck? Why not? Let me just go and get another race suit. I don't really need too many of those anyways, so there we are. That's quite a bit right now ready to go, and I think we're ready to go back to the main world here. So yeah, let's check this out over here. So what were we working on last? I think we were actually gaining intel to go for this next mission over here for West Asia, and we're pretty close now to getting Asia completely blocked off. Um, Yeah, instead of going for New India Relay, let's actually go for the Eastern Europe one, because then we'll be able to make contact with Eastern Europe and... Excuse me, what? And also West Asia. So it's 200 supplies, quite a lot. It's not worth it for the supplies. It's worth it for the intel. That's really why we're doing this, so... It's good stuff. It'll be useful. So, four days. Not too long. Ooh, tracer rounds. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. This is basically giving you plus 10 aim. That seems pretty dope on really anyone, honestly. But I'm really thinking maybe our snipers would be really good, as well as some of our grenaders as well. So, we just got a new ranger over here. Let's go for the guerrilla tactics. Uh, okay, so that was the last of our rookies then, ready to go. They're all set up and ready for battle. Shadow chamber now operational. Although I'm impressed with the strides we've made in infiltrating the alien psionic network, the depths of their technological advancement continue to leave us one step behind. However, with the enhanced decryption capabilities of this chamber, I'm confident we will find a great deal more information than we had previously hoped. New objective added. Alrighty. Tell me more. Okay, so there's a bunch of objectives here then, ready to go. So we can actually recover the block site vial as well as the codex brain. We are fully prepared to begin our analysis of the material recovered from the advent black site, Commander. With the shadow chamber fully operational, we can use its advanced decryption capabilities to analyze the codex artifact recovered by our forces. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do the Black Sight Vial first. I think that would be more important here. That was the original vial that um, we had picked up so long ago. We're reading you. Okay, so we got some more supplies here ready to go. I can go ahead and make another contact. Um, yeah, I think that's very important. Let's go and go for West Asia over here. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. And that's fine. Um, we'll go ahead and make contact here. Ooh. Still can't believe it's come to this. I truly hope those gruesome images are the worst of what we find today. They're slaughtering us, Doctor. What could be worse? We're about to find out. 
I patched the shadow chamber directly into the ship's computer. It's been sifting through the material we've recovered non-stop since our return, cataloging sequences. Genetic sequences, in near-infinite combination, yet all bearing similar genetic markers, human markers. There must be thousands of them. Tens of thousands, and the procedure is still nowhere near complete. Which is why we need the ship's computer to find out where they came from. By cross-referencing them with the data we've managed to hack from the Advent Network. It's... an admission file from one of the gene therapy clinics. Avatar. Just what exactly is in that vial? In my worst nightmares, I would never have imagined. Doctor. I believe we have found the missing civilians. That's... That's impossible. The gene clinics. Millions of people just looking for help. Medically screened and selected. Suitable candidates taken to that contemptible facility to be processed, refined into the material we now possess. But why do this? I could not begin to fathom a guess at this point. There exists no research that would ever warrant this. It's genocide, Doctor. And these people are walking right into it. We may not know what they're doing with this stuff, but I think I can find out where it's going. Got it. It's a high security production facility. Standard defensive complement. Then I strongly suggest we pay them a visit, Commander. Agreed. The information we gain could prove invaluable towards stopping the aliens' true agenda. New objective added. Okay. Alrighty, so I've updated our the vial that we have. Commander. Excuse me. Uh, the vial that we have is a bunch of people. Basically, yeah. Genomes of a million subjects. Yikes. So that is uh, a lot of <laughs> degraded people. Alright, cool. Um. So we basically want to go for this next location, wherever it's at. I think I saw it pop up in the same location we're searching now. So that's pretty nice. And we'll, of course, have our next mission ready to go. Oh, yes, it is. Cool. Commander, we have the coordinates of the Alien Forge facility. I've marked its position on the map. We'll need to contact the local resistance before we can attempt to move in, though. Yeah. AP rounds. Interesting. So, armor piercing rounds, that, I wonder why that's really useful. I mean, it's useful against everyone, right? But, who is it best on? Maybe a sniper that'd be best on, I'm thinking. Because um, if you're going against like a heavily armored target, the sniper would want to just pierce through it, right? Actually, that might be best. Ooh. Okay. So they just got this breakthrough here in the Avatar project. The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Okay. And three more weeks until this next facility is built. So we'll have some time at least to help stop that. Ooh, new targets available. Commander, we've had the shadow chamber running the numbers. These are the tactical projections for our next field operation. Okay, so we can actually see who we're going up against then. Um, well, we don't know what this is, but it's giving us a scientist. I don't really care about that too much. Whereas this one, it's a bit easier. Um, we still are facing up against a sucked up pod, but it's less, and it'll help us protect our resources a bit more. So I think we'll go for this one in Eastern Africa. The other one's in Eastern US. Uh, let's go for the African one, I think. Setting course for East Africa. So I think this would be the perfect mission to bring in our rookies for this battle. It'll allow them to kind of shine and maybe get a couple of promotions here. Yeah, so let's go and remove all of our troops here. Um, this may be one of the better decisions I've made or one of the worst. We'll find out. Alright, so let's just go all... We're not true rookies, they're all squatties. But that's fine. All shinies, rather. Now this last guy, 
I have three rangers so far. Two specialists. So let's go for a grenade right here. Nice. These guys are set up ready for battle, guys. Um, so looking at what we got, we have two close range. I got my long range going on. Actually, three close range. Wow. Hmm. Um, let's go ahead and start with my grenader over here. So, what kind of equipment do we want to give you? Are you? So I do have a wraith suit and a war suit to spare. So this could be interesting. Um, versus the warden armor, I'm not sure which one's necessarily better here. I know that this will definitely give you more armor, which is nice. And yeah, this is fine here. I don't really need a whole lot of stuff here. I'll have to adjust his armor, of course. Yeah, it's doing that little glitch again. So I have to switch the legs. Whoops. Switch the torso first. Do do do. Uh, shiny legs. There we go. And now let's go and switch over your arms. There we go. Shiny arms. So, you, Grenader, you're set up for battle now. Um. I don't think there's any upgrades for the weapons. No, we actually don't have any weapon upgrades available right now. But you will have two plasma grenades plus the heavy weapon, which is quite nice. Now, we have... Let's go ahead and grab a squatty here. Let's give him a skull jack. I think that'll be pretty fun. If I can go ahead and grab some intel in this mission, that'd be nice. Now, let me go ahead and build up another medkit. looking at our options here. I can actually go for another Mimic Beacon, funny enough. I just didn't want to um, take away the equipment from the other troopers, because they're pretty much already set right now. So yeah, here's what we got going on. I'll probably give AP rounds over here to one of my squaddies. Now, I need to mark him in some way, so I know he has armor-piercing rounds. So, let me go to Customize, Props. I'm thinking maybe... A lower face prop? If I give him like a... Yeah. Yeah, so this lets me know he has something cool going on here. Uh, nice. Okay, so he has armor piercing rounds. And uh, I think we have another med kit we can pass out. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that for the other specialists as well. Both specialists get a med kit. And uh, we should give these guys some armor as well. I'm thinking the rangers give them some armor. Mimic beacon. There we go. We'll give one of these guys a uh, EMP grenade as well. And I'll probably suit you up with something as well. So I can know you have an EMP grenade. Um, so props. Lower face prop. Let's go ahead and give you a Grenader's Bandolier. Yeah, so I'll be able to see the grenades over your front. Like so. Okay, I think we're pretty well set up. We have a lot of grenades actually ready for this battle. And I'm pretty happy with the setup right now. Yeah. Let's go and begin the mission. Let's go and begin the mission. We 
picked up a weak signal coming from a group of resistance operatives. Apparently, they've stumbled on the location of an advent data vault storing files critical to the alien's latest project. As far as we can tell, hostile forces also picked up on the signal, and they weren't about to leave anyone from the resistance alive. We're going in to sweep the site, eliminate all hostile forces, and find the assets. Okay, so this was an old resistance haven here. So... We're ready to go for this battle. Um, we had three rangers, so we definitely want to outflank the enemy. I think that's gonna be very important. Uh, we had two specialists, and then lastly, a grenader. No snipers in this battle. And lastly, some tricks up our sleeve, we have some armor-piercing rounds for one of our rangers over here. So he should be able to take out armor targets easily. He'll be able to flank them, get a critical strike, and that critical strike will go through the armor. I think that's gonna be very valuable. Let's go and begin the mission. Oh, you, you've got to be kidding me. Menace 1 5. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised. Self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Yikes. Move it! Secure the zone! Alright, Team Shiny going forward. Let's go ahead and move up fairly carefully here. Um. Yeah, something a little like this. Now, funny enough, I can actually go for a hack here. I wonder if I should. No, we need to get to cover first. So we are flanking around this corner here. Um, <laughs> we'll probably have to set up somewhere. Do something a little silly, like this over here. I'll probably set up Clone Trooper. Alright, you're actually in a great location there. So, let me go ahead and go into Overwatch here. You're concealed, of course, so you're not going to fire unless they oh actually engage on us. I'm just kind of covering my back right now. Making sure we're nice and protected. And you are the last person. Let's go ahead and just play around with a hack here. See how easy it's going to be. Who? Um. Interesting. Uh. <laughs> I actually kind of want to do. I mean, it's. Come on. A 3% chance to fail this. Yeah, look at that. So, we actually just recovered all of our action points this turn. We are going to be unstoppable. Oh, not to mention we can pass by it freely. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so we're still concealed right now. So I need at least one person to chill. Be ready to go and overwatch. Probably have you and probably have my grenader both do that. Like Sitting by the truck. Go! Okay, where do you go? This is the question. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and have the specialist that went ahead and hacked. Let's go ahead and have you go into Overwatch right here in the truck. So we'll have two people on the truck here. That's quite generous, I think, right now for this. Yeah, let's go ahead and move up to this actual station. Now, if we get engaged right now, we are actually in trouble by this turret. Maybe it would be better to take it out. Okay, no one over there. Alright, am I going to like run through a discovered area if I go over here? I don't think so. Yeah, we're fine. We're actually getting pretty close here to the objective. I think we'll be able to make this. Alright, let me just play it safe here. 
We just got an extra movement, so eh, we can be a little safe. Yeah, we can be. Can protect. We are playing with squaddies after all, so we can't rush into combat. Whoa. What the hell was that? Did someone just run over a car? Alright, I see that guy over there. We need to avoid him, if at all possible. Okay, who's going to be able to stay behind and defend this? I'm thinking you will be a good person to do that. So we get one of our guys over here just to chill. Alright, get these clone troopers off the truck. And I'll probably move them up one more position up here. Yeah, so you come over here behind this light, or I guess behind the alien pole over here. Uh, will you be able to move right here? I don't... I don't think you will. I really don't have a place for you to move up then. Interesting. I probably shouldn't then. I kind of don't want to move you up. And then the uh, specialist over here can move all the way up forward. Okay, we actually just discovered the enemy here. So are they going to notice us? No, they are not. Okay, so we still have the element of surprise here. I wonder, I wonder if we can do this mission without actually engaging the enemy. Wouldn't that be fun? Um, it's very against my playstyle. My playstyle's well, it's pretty defensive, I'd say. Let's move fast. But still, I mean, I, I kill a lot of enemies. Got some sort of generator here on the side. So if I can get my squad here to like this window, that'd be perfect. Troopers, right, let's go ahead and move off and see what we can see. Alright, so they are on the move right now. Just walking through walls and stuff. No big deal, you're flying over him. <laughs> dick. <laughs> Just destroying the real estate right now. Alright, so we should go ahead and get these guys moving up. I'm thinking... Alright, you have full cover here, so you'd probably be the best person here to be on Overwatch. We need at least one person covering, just so we can have some sort of retaliation if they attack us. Set you up behind the cactus. Uh oh. Why hello, Klenka. Okay. I think this is fine. Let's have some fun. Okay. So I want line of sight over here on this location. Let me go ahead and hide behind this tree. Yep, there we go. Menace one five. This is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Okay, looking at our objectives, we actually do have to destroy all kids. enemies. So the dream is dead when it comes to finishing this mission completely without actually engaging anyone. But that's fine. We'll probably just move up. We'll maybe get ready to hack them the first turn, but just not do it. Oh, lord. Okay, Sectopod coming out. This is definitely the first target we want to focus in. These guys are going to be very tough to go against. Oh, boy. Um, is this the turn? Uh, it might be. Okay, so I need this guy here to move. I really don't have great location to move to, though. He might be my Mimic Beacon Trooper, then. Alright, so the guy in the rear needs to move up, then. Ugh, crap, he actually can't go to that location. That really sucks. Yeah, it's fine, though. I basically just need to remove myself from the turret's line of sight. So we don't add on another enemy to attack us. Alright, five turns now to... 
<laughs> um, to be able to hack this workstation. So we need we need to go. This is our go time. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to use this shield wall here. I was looking at it. If we attack or move, we then lose a bonus. I'm not sure that's really cash money right now. Um, we kind of have to go, though. We can't just piddle around and, and keep messing with this. Alright, let's look to our specialist over here for support. Aid protocol. Let's go ahead and throw that on our grenader over here. Now this is not a great time to engage them, but I, I I gotta move. I gotta do something. We also have a dangerous line of sight over here as well. All right, let's just wait one turn. Let's just get everyone over here in a line of sight where we can all attack freely. Alright, that's the last turn before we engage. Crap, now we see them. So now it's a 9v6, sorry, 6v9 against us. That's definitely, ooh, this is actually not that bad then. Okay, that's not that bad. I can live with this. <laughs> I can actually hack it right now. Okay, so. Here's my options. I basically, A protocol everyone that's in half cover. Everyone that's in full cover, I guess you overwatch. Yeah, I could do a lot of damage against that guy. I'm just not sure it's worth it. Okay. So. Here's my grenader here. Oh, crap. You actually still see that sectoid. The yikes for me, bro. So how do you see him? Is he like... Okay, he literally broke the wall. So there's nothing cheeky that I can do, like... I don't know, sit behind a bush or something. I'll have to fall back. That's definitely a guarantee. Okay, well we're gonna waste the armor-piercing rounds this turn, I think. So he's, he's gonna start the fight. Definitely my grenade, right? For max damage. Overwatch. Crap. Alright, well this is gonna suck either way I do this. Yeah, this is not gonna be fun. Get ready for attack. Oh well. Um All positions here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Alright, four to five damage with a plasma grenade. So this is going to do 12 to 15 damage. Whatever, let's do it. Okay, so we shredded armor, at least. And uh, did damage to both of those Archons there. Now everyone's going to be converging on us now. Like literally everyone in the entire game. <laughs> okay, so we are now revealed. They're going to start moving. First Overwatch shot coming out. Shotgun shot. I actually just destroyed that guy. Pretty sure. If not now, he's definitely dead now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we did 9 damage to the shotgun shot and then a carbine finished him off. So I was waiting for him to resurrect here. There we go. Alright, another Overwatch shot coming out from the blaster. We missed. Shotgun. Also missed. Alright, finally the third shot hit him. We did some damage. 
Man, if only we took that guy out, that would have been really nice. All right, well, here they are. All right, um, so we have a Lancer, regular trooper, and a Dramadon. And we are about to get fucked. Man, this is really bad, guys. <laughs> Alright, so Andromedon is coming out. This guy is not even just... Is he going to go for the melee hit? Alright, he did miss. Although my trooper is now out of cover. Okay, so what are you going to do? Oh no, you're going to get the flank. Holy crap. Okay, um... The, my, my grenade is probably dead here, right? I mean, he is out of cover right now. Okay, that was a critical hit... Clue Trooper is now unconscious. Oh boy. Are you going to go for the peons? No, you're going to go for the melee hit. Missed, okay. Well, A Protocol did something. Yeah, that was nice. Now what are you going to do? Nah, no, you're going to need the peons. So this is destroying all of my cover in the area. I'm going to have nothing, really. You're immune to your own poison, I guess? That's weird. Minus one five, the clock is ticking. That detonator isn't going to wait. Get to the vault and disarm it before we run out of time. A little busy right now, sorry. Okay, I've got to start taking guys out. Oh, we are fucked. Um, now this is actually kind of annoying right here. All right, who has the closest med kit right now? Probably you. Hmm. Not the best position to be in right now. Alright, so who are we engaging? We have four enemies right now. Five enemies right now. With effectively five troopers. I feel like if I move at all, I'm just going to get destroyed. Um, if only this EMP guy... Do I just tank the explosive right here? Like, honestly, I think we just tank it with at least one of these troopers. We can throw up one aided protocol on somebody. Okay, so those guys have to move. At least those four. Crap. Okay, um... All right, armor piercing guy. Let's go. Do I just go for any kill I can get right now? Oh wait, um, how much health do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you're not going to quite die from this. I wonder if I move my clone trooper right here, move him out of the way. This might work. Let's see. Wait, what? Is this trooper dead or uh, he's unconscious, right? Alright, uh, I just got debated right there with that heal. I. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of fucked. Okay, let's just go ahead and start taking guys out. Alright, that was a 90% chance to hit. So, got a kill. Alright, before you move, you need to throw down aid protocol on somebody. Probably my grenader here, because my, my grenader's going to need to move to a weird location to do this. Alright, who do you even attack? I feel like you move back a little bit. Um, okay, what was that plan ahead earlier? I was going to use a grenade over here, I think. Yeah, I could, like... Fuck. 
All right, this isn't a bad, bad plan here. Let's go ahead and do some damage against this Andromedon. At least get him so he can't use his main weapon. That's probably the scariest thing about him. Now, this sucker over here, I feel like I can do something cheeky. All right, I want to damage both of these guys. I guess the tree's going to have to be collateral. Can I not get both these guys in here? It looks like I can't. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Alright, let's just go for this chance here. Maybe I can take him down. Alright, we did a critical hit, so we took down the Andromedon. He's now going to go into his second life. Um, Alright, so we have two guys left now. I really want one of them just to die from that uh, Blazing Peon hit, honestly. Alright, I, I guess I'll go for a hit here. We'll try to take down some units. I really should have gone for the Andromedon, actually. The one that's up in the sky. That's probably the scariest guy we're up against right now. Yeah, I should have gone for that guy. Oh well, let's just commit to the decision. Yeah, we missed. Yeah, it's bad. Alright, so we're gonna take at least one of those Beyond shots. We actually had a lot of damage done to us there. But they did take out the other Beyond, so that's not bad. Oh no, you're gonna go. You're gonna get yourself killed. Okay, well, you took out that shell, I guess, before you died. Rip. Okay, you're, you're just going to get flanked. Okay, that's not a dead trooper yet. Oh, the Andromedon hasn't finished his move yet. <laughs> okay, now you're a dead trooper. Alright, there you go. Rip. Um, so that was one of my specialists. Now you're going to get hit. Okay, thankfully that missed. Of you kicking around bodies and stuff. What are you doing? Not sure I can make it. Not sure I can make it. That was a critical hit. Holy Jesus. Alright, well, uh you could say things are not looking up right now. Alright, I effectively have three troopers to play with right now. <laughs> um hmm. So if I chunk it, a uh, grenade won't kill them. Two grenades, though. Two grenades might. Fuck it, whatever. We're, <laughs> we're dead either way, right? So let's just play around with this. There's no way I'm killing both of these guys with, uh, with one grenade, but maybe with two. Oh, crap, we have an unconscious soldier there. I can't even do that. Wow, I did not plan this out very well. Okay, let's just go ahead and get the guaranteed kill on the shell. It's the best I can do. Yeah. 11 damage done. What? You can't see him? You, you have got to be kidding me right now. This is a joke. Like we drilled, go! God, why are my troopers retarded? They they can't see this Andromedon. This is actually ridiculous. I'll have to go and Overwatch, I guess. I don't know. Alright, first shot coming out. Alright. Thank the Lord. Alright, we killed one person. Alright, second shot of Overwatch. Did eight damage. I really wanted that to kill him. 
Right, what do you you're gonna hit the Oh god. Yeah, that's another dead trooper there. Yikes. You're gonna get shot again. Alright, that was another miss. That's that's good. That's good. Menace one five, you're almost out of time. The detonator is about to blow. Alright. We've gotta focus the objective here. There is no other options. I have to move up one of my troopers up. He's going to get spotted <laughs> instantly. Okay. Okay, you're going to have to hack this. There's no other options. So if you don't hack this, we lose the mission and our troopers' deaths are in vain. Basically. Get a small amount of intel. Let's go for it. That's not bad. Whoa, we actually would have gotten 100% there. That's impressive. Okay. Well, we got that going for us. Now they have reinforcements coming in, secure. naturally. Be advised, reinforcements are inbound. Eliminate all hostiles threatening the AO. Okay. Well... We're about to have to make a very uncomfortable decision here. Can I make it there? Fuck, man. I, I don't know if I'll be able to make it. So if I put an evac zone right here. Oh, shit. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Let me at least pick up this other trooper that's unconscious right now. Yeah, so I want to pick up the XCOM trooper, not the uh, Advent trooper there. Copy that, General. Okay, okay, okay. So if I move over here, I should be able to take out the Archon, no problem, right? Let me just drop it down right over here by the tree. Move, move. Move it. Okay, so I'll be able to move right here. What? Oh, that was my last move, wasn't it? Roger it was. Alright, well... Copy that. <laughs> we at least got out with three troopers here. Uh, last one... The one who actually got the hacking job done is most likely going to die in this situation. <sighs> yeah, this is rough. I mean, if I covered him, what would have happened? I would have killed the Archon. And that's it. That's I would have just killed the Archon. And the Sectoid would have come over and wrecked us. Absolutely wrecked us. It could have been a total wipe. I, I could have lost all my troopers. And maybe, maybe I would have saved the guy who actually got the job done, the objective done. Which, of course, he's probably priority in saving, right? But, I just saved three troopers there versus, versus none, I guess. So he took five damage for that melee hit. As long as he doesn't panic, he should be fine. Oh my fucking god. Oh yeah, you're mega dead. Just go and fire a rocket at him. Oh, what the fuck? You panicking, man? You can't do that. You gotta stay strong. He's he's mega dead, by the way. He, there's no way he's surviving this. Oh, got a fucking ATAT -AT over here. Just join my my troopers. Yeah, what the hell is this? He already attacked once this turn. This is unfair. Unfair, I say. He's so fucking dead. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. We didn't actually get the objective because this guy hacked it. And he wasn't able to get out. I thought I was... Oh, oh my lord. We've lost control of the package. Recover it at all costs. 
We can't afford to lose that material to the aliens. All surviving XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand returning to base. Mission parameters completed. It says completed. I don't think that's true. I think we just failed that mission. It says, yeah, it says mission failed, objective completed, but we didn't recover the item. Oh my god. I don't know, man. I think we were fucked either way in that mission. Man, I really don't know. So, how could we have prevented that? I think maybe if... <sighs> hmm. I think if we went and got the objective like first thing, then extracted, I think that would have been fine. But we didn't do that. We chose to fight. With our squaddies. Not only fight, we chose to... Infiltrate first, then fight. We could have taken out like the first... Uh, wave over there on the left hand side. Could have taken them out first. And then it would have been either a uh, 6v3 or a 6v6. Instead of as a 6v9. And then we got 69 destroyed. It was not looking pretty there either way. But uh, I guess looking at the bright side here, we didn't lose all of our troopers. Um, <laughs> dear lord. Okay. So that's the second Gorilla Ops mission now that we have failed. Yikes. Hello, Commander. Okay, so this one... So, apparently we did get the Toxic Report. We did counter it. Yeah, that was, uh, that was weird there. We actually have an extra engineer now. That's nice. Let's go ahead and throw in Shane Stone over here on resistance comms. It'll increase our ability to, I guess, research the other remaining locations. Um, so how many actually do we have left? One, two locations for contact. That's it, right? Like, it's literally just two locations and then we have contacted the entire globe. Yeah, I guess it is. Alright. Let's go ahead and finish making contact here before we leave. This will, uh, nothing else, it'll help out with uh, the next mission we're about to get ready for. Ooh, cutscene. soldiers completely disabled this unit in the field. What we're hearing is merely a byproduct of electrical impulses. I assure you, it is well past the point of feeling pain. I'll take your word for it, Doctor. I'm sending you a new sequence now. These are coordinates. Return coordinates. Think we've got a point of origin. Well, part of one. Something else. Something underneath. One more. The unit is attempting to block further access. That's not all it's doing. I'm losing the data we've already decrypted. Almost there. Just one more adjustment. Forget the data. It's accessing the power core. Overriding my safety. Increasing power levels. Some sort of fail-safe protocol, I imagine. The Codex must have intentionally overloaded the interface to prevent any further theft of information. Still, I believe I was one step ahead. That's an enormous amount of data. Yes, and I expect it may take some time to decipher. Better get started. I don't think we're gonna be able to do that again. I'll proceed with the necessary research and preparation. With your approval, of course, Commander. I'd also suggest we look into those coordinates. 
That's if I can reconstruct the data we lost in the transfer. I just hope it was worth it. New objective added. Okay. So we got a new uh We're ready to move when you option are, here. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. In the field, the codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. However, it was apparently not immune to the effects of conventional weaponry, having dissipated before leaving behind this object. Okay, so we got that going now for the research project in the shadow chamber. So, eh, well, I think that's going to give us coordinates for another location as well, eventually. But we're pushing through that now. New objective added. Ooh. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. So we actually have two locations here now available for, for battle. Um, let's go ahead and power through this a couple more days until we finish this. Yep, there we go. contact with the resistance operatives working in this area commander they're going to show us how to get into the alien forge facility alrighty so that now is basically all but one location discovered now and oh, we actually still don't have fire when ready funny enough but uh, next mission we're gonna be going for this additional location the black side data coordinates so we can actually see what troops we have up against. So we can kind of plan it out a bit better. Um, so there's definitely going to be a sectopod, for example. Sectoids. Eh, a little bit of everything, but that's fine. All right. So if you guys enjoyed that, let me know. And as always, stay classy out there.